Hi Collective, welcome to my channel, Cosmic Divine Seeker. Hi everyone. So I felt very guided to do a magical dimension reading. I was originally going to do this one and then it got guided to my Mystic Martian Oracle. I've been getting very intrigued, especially watching the news lately. <laughs> so I wanted to see if there's any messages coming out um, for why. You might want to take a look at that one if you feel guided. So, um, wow, they're showing me throat portal right away. I always pay attention to the first card that comes out too when I'm guided and very much feeling this heart portal. Yeah, there's definitely activations that are going on. Major alignments are going on too of chakras, right? A lot of people are going through like massive awakenings like Kundanali rising, things like that. Finding these um, surges of energy that are going through their heart and expanding. It's kind of like... For some of you, you're getting that that feeling like, oh my gosh, like I really do love, you know, this person or whatever. Because um, you're starting to feel it more on like a heart space. If you had a heart um, chakra blockages and things like that, it felt to light a pink candle. Um, it's like two, I got two here. So working with the color pinks, which is interesting because I've been feeling a lot of yellow and orange today. So working with those colors today, um, opening up the sacral chakra, solar plexus, things like that. I did a healing video last night to open things up. So yeah, there's um, there's major healings that are going on, right? Because I feel a lot of us have been running through these lo lower chakras, right? And there's big amounts of energy that have came through with the recent portals bringing in soulmates look at that portal energy <laughs> bringing in soulmates co-creative power belief confidence for a lot of you like confidence level needs to get up i mean if you don't feel confident about yourself you don't feel as though you're lovable and that can lower down your ability to let people in or for you to express your emotions and feelings so there's a major um right back out again with trust overcoming doubts and securities and patience like i said for a lot of you it's like overcoming fears and doubts basically like knowing that you're enough knowing that you're lovable is allowing love to come in because it's like it protects you too in a way because it's like they want to make sure that you're ready to receive love do you know what i mean so it's like sometimes things won't come to you when you're not ready I told you, there's definitely awakenings that are going on here in emergence, creation, magician, resurrection. So this very powerful magician energy is coming through. Harmony for resolution. I was talking a lot about a lot of negative energy and low dense energy is getting like transmuted out. So there's major transformations and transmutation that's going on with harmony for resolution. The last reading I talked about how there's like a lot of dark energy that's trying to trump the light how it how it's drawn these these portals right bring in so much beautiful you know bright light and energy right so the darkness is drawn to it right so look at this beautiful yellow and orange card here with the butterfly just what i'm feeling with the beautiful orange and yellow and that intertwine for a lot of you like you're um you're merging your energies now with your solar plexus and your sacral and you're using that co-creative power a lot of you are putting like your passion and creation together um merging it so you're you're bringing you know your subconscious dreams and imagination work to life so it's like for a lot of you like you're getting this fresh perspective of um certain dreams and things it's kind of like say you had a dream and a passion of something you wanted to do but you didn't have the drive to do it because of his blockages or whatever but it's like now because there's been energy work and healing that's been going on. You're like, you're finally like, you got that passion to do that. It's finally like, oh my gosh. It's like, oh, I feel the love for this. Like, it, I know that the time is now. Like, I have to pursue this. I have to build this. I have to. See what I mean? Like, when you, when you buy it. And then you get a new perspective and ideas. And when you put passion into stuff, then you are really creating. Wow. Believe, it's like, basically, like, that's where the confidence comes. Maybe for a lot of you you didn't have the confidence level up and now you do see magical realms here and this is the the card of confidence 
believe co-creative power see these are two very powerful like creative energies look at that i really feel that you are co-creating with the universe this is very beautiful this is definitely a portal card um look at that exploration boldness unknown and limitless it's like now you have the confidence to step into the unknown it's like when you're wanting to create something when you're going down a new path you can't go down the path you've already gone down before or you know the outcome that is not where you where you're fully in this creative energy you have to basically go to the unknown because you have to take the risk you know, I mean, you're not being creative and creating something magical if you've already done this before. So for a lot of you, wow, by doing this, like you're calling in higher love too, because it's like when you find who you love doing what you love normally, because when you're in that energy of love, you attract everything of all levels, right? And I say love and money and all of that go hand in hand. For a lot of you, you're enhancing your psychic abilities and gifts, right? If you're here on this channel, right? A lot of you are very, very talented healers, psychics. Um, you know, a lot of you, um, you know, star seeds all have, you know, very special talented um, skills and abilities and things like that. So for a lot of you, like you're getting like intuitive guidance of these psychic gifts, you're getting the truth, you're getting the realization. A lot of you are getting a higher perspective, you're unlocking gifts, you're getting downloads from the higher ups, and they're showing unity. Because like I said, for a lot of you, you are coming in alignment with like your star family, your soul family, the people that you're supposed to unite and create these energies with because if you look that's who creating and there's a very very strong influence with co-creative power like yes you need to be able to be confident by yourself but we were meant to have like counterpart energies stronger together for some of you you're going to just be creating with like you know star family soul family type of energy but you are going to be coming together you know with um a lot of you count, you know, counterpart energies, things like that, but don't have that be the focus because it's going to set you free too, where you're going to be letting go of resistance. You're, you're finally going to be feeling fulfilled for a lot of you. It's kind of like you're being purified. You're going through a spiritual cleansing and you're letting go of people, situations, things that just don't feel right for a lot of you. It really liberates you when you can get in this feeling of, in this flow of just going after what you love. And, and it's like, all of those things that you feel resistant to you just stop you just stop being resistant to them and things just start to go so much more when you're in the flow so it's showing me this transformation metamorphosis synchronicities and the unexpected so it's very much going on a lot of you are um <laughs> you know majorly transforming and it's it's um it's magnetic too and it's like for a lot of you like you are uh, it's like when a part of the soul family or your soul tribe starts to go after like their dreams and passions it triggers others it's very magnetic right so it's helping awaken the collective <laughs> whenever um it's just like uh, i don't know why keeping this here, this this um connection with fairies very strong today and it's like um I probably need to pull the fairy dog, <laughs> but, um, it's something about like every time this happens, like a new fairy gets its wings or every time somebody makes a wish or believes or, or there's something to do with like, like magic. Right. Um, but guy in awakening, preparing relocation and ascension or like every time ugh, there's, I don't know what they were trying to tell me earlier, but there's definitely, you know, the planet is elevating, right? The, the amounts of energy that are surging through there, they're elevating or raising the vibrations, raising the collective. A lot of you are being preparing. A lot of you are being relocated. Um, a lot of you are letting go of like attachments to money and resources and things like that because you're realizing that you're, you're higher up than that. You're going to attract everything that you need and desire by your vibration that you're not going to need everything um, in the physical, right? So defensiveness, scarcity, accumulation something to do with that all right so it was weird it was like i was going on the flow and then all of a sudden just everything stopped there is a warning here i just picked up the deck and i left the warning so shielding defense so let me take a look at this it's just weird how it stopped like that so okay because they wanted me to tell you this for some of you you know you've had some sort of attachment so for some of you it's kind of like 
things have gotten scarce. Some of you needed to be depleted of things because some people were after your money and your resources. So some of you are being realigned to where you're supposed to be. They're showing me a balance, patience, divine masculines, oneness coming together. For some of you, it could have been um, a lot of divine masculines. I've been hearing collectively. Um, have been going through a lot of letting go, releasing. A lot of them were with karmic situations and, and karmics and... A lot of them were stuck in the ego and the 3D and the physical. So a lot of them have had physically resources stripped from them. So it causes these karmics to kind of break free and let go of them. And then they go through these major awakenings, right? And realizing that, wow, that was karmic. Especially when literally they walk out on them because they lose their resources, right? So that causes them to see like, wow, they were literally in this for what I was giving them right so so sometimes you have to look at things like and for some of you it could be flipped it, this could be divine feminines too for some of you some you needed to go through a lot of loss and things um to eliminate the attachments that you had but there's going to be these major breakthroughs that's why i say like divines like you can literally give up everything and come together with one another and just build and know that you could come in having nothing and you're going to create an empire because the vibration of love is so high and the frequency is so high, you're going to attract everything that you need and desire. So 11.33, as I say that, they're showing crown portal here. So there's crown portal activations going on, getting direct downloads and guidance from above. They keep showing me this adventure card, but it's like, I don't know how to take it. See, she's holding the key the entire time. It's very strong portal energies. For a lot of you, you're going through like a major ascension. It's like when you go through this portal, you've ascended a lot. I'm doing a reading. Oh, the LOLs, you're so cute. So for a lot of you, um, you go through the, through this portal. It's like you're not a child anymore, or you're realizing that that you're you've evolved a lot. For a lot of you, it's like you held the key to unlocking your inner child because she's looking back at a child there. But she's also looking and seeing that she got her wings. So for a lot of you, you're realizing that you went through a major transformation. It's like you know it's like the caterpillar to the butterfly right and it's like now you have these beautiful wings and you're a butterfly looking down in your world like what is going on like this isn't my world i don't fit in this world anymore where am i supposed to go what am i supposed to do well my dears that's because your destiny <laughs> is here divine purpose passion service so it could be uncomfortable right until you fit in but that's kind of what i feel like it, it's kind of like how it happens because it's like if you look at it from a perspective, though, is it's like you elevate first inside and you feel it. And then you feel like, wow, I don't fit into this anymore because you really got your wings. You just can't see them, right? So it's like you're realizing like, wow, okay. And that nothing like seems right anymore. So like, I see what I mean? Like you upgrade from the inside out. So you just hold that frequency in your outer world will match your inner world, but it takes time for transmutation and transformation to fully be done, right? It kind of prepares you and allows you to kind of, you know, have some time to fit in <laughs> and also because you're in charge you kind of just have to accept it's like you and you internally went through this major upgrade and now you need to acknowledge it and for some of you you need to communicate because they were showing me the throat portal card right so for some of you you know you need to communicate and there's and like i said something sometimes things take some time to catch up and for some of you you know some throat portal activations needed to go on so you're you're more stronger and confident to be able to communicate for some of you you were literally put in some of these situations before just literally like throat portal i'm getting activations like for some of you 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 know that was a major part of your ascension that you needed to do you know, a lot of divine feminines are showing me maja majestic eminence for a lot of you you needed to get in this energy of knowing your self-worth so you you've been in situations where you've been having people take you for granted and things like that you're needing to stand up and show your self-worth mm, interesting and a lot of they're showing me in a lot of heart portal for a lot of you it's like they were preparing you for a higher vibrational soulmate there's all this prosperity coming in for you but you've been having you know protection you've been having the elementals have been protecting you know your abundance and all of that so you've been having celestial assistance 
angelic messages, guidance, enlightenment, emotional freedom. So for a lot of you, there, there's a lot of healings. Here's the sacral portal healing. Look at that sacral portal card, beautiful orange. So for a lot of you, there was a lot of sacral portal blockages, but peace, serenity, and paradise, that is where you're going, right? So for a lot of you, major transformations. Wow, I almost went through this entire deck from Magical Dimension. So like I said, it's been very, very powerful portals, right? As we have the 6-6 six, six portal, I've been seeing the collective talking about the 3-6-9 portal and energy coming through. Um, and leading us to summer solstice on the 21st. So this is a major time of ascensions, activations, awakening. There is so much going on in such a high frequency, right? Um, so there's a lot going on. So, all right, this is the portal reading that I had for you. I'm going to be doing some other readings, but I need to take a break. My little girl <laughs> came in here, so she's looking for me. And um, watch whatever you guys are guided to. Love and light to all of you. Bye.